y'all, welcome. Today I will be sharing Halloween food ideas. These Halloween foods are so simple to make and they are extremely delicious. These foods are perfect for any Halloween parties that you're having or just to celebrate Halloween with your family at home. Two of the foods I'll be showing y'all are sweet and two of the foods I'll be showing y'all are savory. Let's get into it. For a rice cake pizza mummy, all you will need is a rice cake, marinara sauce, cheese, and jalapeno slices. This was an extremely long piece of cheese, so I just sliced the cheese in half and sliced that half of cheese into uneven strips. These strips are going to make up the wrapping around the mummy. Now set the cheese aside and get out a rice cake. This is a thin rice cake, but you can use any kind of savory rice cake that you have. Spread the marinara sauce on top and then place the cheese slices onto the rice cake to make it look like a mummy. Next, add jalapeno slices for eyes. You could also use olives, pepperonis, or any other type of topping you like on your pizza. Now place it into a toaster oven or a regular oven for about one to two minutes until the cheese has melted. And there you go, you have a rice cake pizza mummy. The first step in making Nutter Butter Mummies is to prepare a baking sheet. I cut out parchment paper to fit the baking sheet. Next, I broke up white chocolate into a bowl. This is Ghirardelli white chocolate. You could also use white chocolate baking chips, regular white chocolate chips, or almond bark. I broke up the white chocolate bar into a bowl and microwaved it at half power for one minute intervals. It took about three minutes total for the white chocolate to melt. Now it is time to dip the Nutter Butters. Place the Nutter Butter into the white chocolate and move it around with a fork or a spoon until it is completely coated with white chocolate. Now place the Nutter Butter onto the parchment paper and add edible eyeballs. These eyeballs were found at Ingalls. If you do not find them, you can just use chocolate chips, M&Ms, raisins, or any other circular type candy that you enjoy. To give the Nutter Butters a mummy effect, I drizzled white chocolate with the fork horizontally on top of the Nutter Butters. This gave the look of wrappings around the Nutter Butter so it would look like a mummy. Leave the Nutter Butters out so the chocolate will set for just a few minutes and they will harden up really quickly. Now they are ready to be eaten. They are absolutely delicious. To make the scary face pretzels, you're gonna dip pretzels into white chocolate just like you did with the Nutter Butters. You could also use dark chocolate or milk chocolate if you wanted to. Now add the edible eyeballs. Like I said, I got these from Ingles, but you can use many different things as eyeballs. Now let them sit out and harden just like the Nutter Butters and they are ready to be devoured because they are so delicious. Lastly, we're gonna make a cheese ball pumpkin. You'll need cheddar cheese Pringles, shredded cheddar cheese, two packets of room temperature cream cheese, one packet of dry ranch seasoning, and one bell pepper. Cut off the top of the bell pepper because you will need the stem of the bell pepper for later. Now remove the seeds from inside the bell pepper and start cutting up the bell pepper. You only need half of the pepper, so cut the pepper in half. I cut the half into slices and then very small dices. Now 
Now set the bell pepper aside and start making the cheese mixture. I put both packets of cream cheese into a bowl and mixed them with a hand mixer. You could also use a stand mixer. Now add the rest of the ingredients, the dry ranch seasoning, one cup of cheddar cheese, and the bell peppers you cut up earlier. Then I mix them all together with a hand mixer. I will link the recipe down below. I did modify the recipe to my liking. You could add a lot of different things to this recipe as well, like bacon, olives, or jalapenos. The options are limitless. Once you have mixed everything up, place a sheet of plastic wrap onto the counter and pour the cheese ball mixture on top of the plastic wrap. Wrap the cheese ball in the plastic wrap and form it into a pumpkin shape. Once you've formed it into a pumpkin shape, place it in the fridge for at least two hours to firm up. After we have let it sit in the refrigerator, we need to prepare the coating of the pumpkin. Get out another baking sheet and place aluminum foil on the baking sheet. Then pour about a third of the container of Pringles into a Ziploc bag and crush up the Pringles. Place the Pringle crumbs onto the aluminum foil and get out the cheese ball from the fridge. Unwrap the cheese ball and place it on top of the Pringles and start to roll the cheese ball in the Pringles. Completely cover the cheese ball with the Pringles so it gives it a pumpkin orange look on the outside. Remember that bell pepper stem from earlier? Yes, you need that right now. Place it on top of the cheese ball to make it look like a pumpkin stem and there you go, you have a delicious pumpkin. When you are ready to eat this pumpkin, you can slice it just like a piece of pie. You could dip any type of cracker like a Ritz cracker or a wheat thin or multiple types of vegetables like cucumbers, carrots, and bell peppers into this cheese ball. My family absolutely devoured it. Those are all of the recipes I wanted to share with y'all. They are perfect for Halloween and celebrating this awesome season. Feel free to try all of them out and send me photos on Instagram. The Bible verse I want to talk about today is Revelation 21, 4. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will no longer exist. Grief, crying, and pain will exist no longer because the previous things have passed away. One day there will be no suffering and that is extremely incredible. Because we have accepted Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, we have that security in our future. We know where we're going after we die here on earth. We're going to live forever in heaven. And as Christians, we want everyone to experience that. We want everyone to have that security in their future. So be bold in sharing the gospel with other people so they can also join us in heaven. Just think about that as you go through your day. Don't fear telling other people about God. I know it can be an awkward conversation, but it is so worth it. I heard a speaker say that we hold the key to eternity and how dare us not share it. That is so powerful. So be bold in your faith today. You are welcome to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. I hope you'll have an amazing rest of your day and an amazing weekend and amazing Halloween coming up soon. Be a blessing to others today. Bye guys.